the formula for the sum s for the first n counting numbers is s is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2. How many numbers would need to be added to the sum of 300? So let me explain what is sum, uh, sum of the first n counting numbers. Suppose, suppose s10, so s10 is the sum of first 10 counting numbers. So it is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 okay so this is called the sum of the first 10 counting numbers so counting number starts from 1 so the formula says it is 10 n n in this case is 10 so there are 10 counting numbers so if you want to find s10 where n is 10 here yeah? So they are saying is 10 times 11 divided by 2 gives you 110 divided by 2, which is 55. So this is a formula. So you can also add from 1 to 10, and you will find that would be 55. So now they ask. Now they are saying if the sum is in this case your S10 is 55. So they are telling us Sn is 300 so the question is what is n the question is what is n okay so that's this is your question mark so this is your question mark okay so how would we do this so yeah you got s and you want to find n okay so let us put so in place of s they should have written s so s n and s are the same okay so that's what i mean hopefully this is not confusing so yeah so i'll write this again so what they have given is s n is equal to n times n plus one divided by two okay so yeah in place of s n i can put 300 so this is 300 is equal to n times n plus one divided by 2. Now I want to get rid of this 2 from this side. So I have to multiply this. I'll use a different color. I'll multiply this side by 2. So if you multiply this side by 2, you also multiply this side by 2. So this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled. 2 and 2 gets cancelled. So this is 600. So this is 600. 300 times 2 is 600 is equal to n times n plus 1. So let me re rewrite like this. So therefore, n times n plus 1 is equal to 600. Okay, so now expanding this, so this is n squared plus n is equal to 600. So I'm going to take away 600 from both sides. So n squared plus n minus 600 is equal to 600 minus 600. So I'm taking away 600 from both sides. So this becomes n squared plus n minus 600 is equal to 0. Now I want to put this in two brackets. So n times n times something is equal to 0. Now 600 is a huge number. The two numbers are two factors of 600 which are, which are one apart. So that may be a bit tricky. So I'm going to show you one technique which you can find how to this is called prime factorization okay so yeah what i'm going to do is i'm going to factorize 600 so this is a way of factorizing so you write 600 so you can divide 600 by 2 so this is a form of division so 2 times 300 okay so the next is 2 divided by 300 is 150 okay now this you can divide by 3 so 3 times 50 okay now you can 50 you can divide by 5 5 times 5 times 10 again 5 times 2 and 2 times 1 okay so what does this mean so 600 so 600 can i write 600 is equal to how many twos? Two times two times two. Two times two times two. 
how many threes? One three times three times phi times phi. So this is called the prime factorization of 600. So I hope you understand. You can let me get my calculator. So this is two cubed. So 600. So let me write this. So 600 is two cubed. Okay, this is okay. I hope you understand. Two cube is this is the twos multiplied to give you eight. So this is eight times. Uh, this is three times twenty five. Okay, so this is six hundred. I'm going to write is twenty four times twenty five. Twenty four times twenty five. So let me get my calculator to just check whether. Uh, 24 times 25 does give you 600. So 24 times 25 is 600. So can you see the two factors are 24 and 25 and they are one apart. So I'm going to write, I want plus number. So the greater number has to be plus 25 and the smaller number has to be minus 24. Then only you'll have plus one here. Therefore, you can say N is minus 25 or n is 24. Now n is the number of countable numbers so you can say but n has to be greater than 0. But n has to be greater than 0 therefore n if we can say number of if we can say number of uh, first counting numbers number of first counting numbers we'll have to counting numbers is equal to 24. So the first 24 co counting numbers adds to give you uh, 300. So let's confirm that. So S24, so let us write S24. Can I write S24 as 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus, I'm going to put dot, 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 plus 22, 23, plus 24 okay so these are the first 24 numbers now I'm going to write s24 in the reverse order so if I write tw first 24 numbers in the reverse order can I write this is 24 plus 23 plus 22 plus dot 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 plus uh, 2 plus 1 okay so I'm going to add these two groups of numbers so what will happen S, if I add them, this is S24 plus S24. So can I write this S24 plus S24? Okay. So what is this? I want you to see a pattern here. Can you see if you add this to, what are you seeing? Can you see groups of 25? So let me use a different color. So this is 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus and this is the magic of maths so this is 25 plus 25 so there are how many lots of 25 so this is s24 plus s24 means this is two lots of s24 so there are how many lots of 25 so it's 24 lots of 25. So it is 24 times 25. If you're, if you're adding 25, how many times? 24 times. So that is 24 times 25. And we know 24 times 25 is 600. So this is S, you know, dividing both sides by 2. So I'll write 2 times S24 divided by 2 is equal to 24 times 25 divided by 2. So if I don't want to use my calculator, this is, I'm going to divide, this is uh, dividing 2 by 2, you get 1, divide this by 12. So this is 25 times 12. So I don't know 25 times 12, I know 25 times 10 is 250, and 25 times 2 is 50. So 24 times 25 times 12, 25 times 12 is equal to 300. 